Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm doing this very simple look using the Conspiracy palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. All right, guys, so this is the palette, the conspiracy palette. I remember I was one of the first people to get this palette and just look at this beauty. The packaging is insane. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the orange shade, which is called Cheese Dust. But let me not get too ahead of myself. First, I'm gonna prime my eyelids and I'm gonna use the Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade C10. Some people were asking me in the comments how I get my eyeshadows to really pop and this is the secret. I use a concealer that is lighter than my skin tone. So I'll use a highlighting concealer and I will slather this on my eyelids. I'm not going to be shy about this. I'm going to use a lot of it. You guys know that I like the LA Girl Pro Conceal a lot as well, right? But when it comes to priming my lids and when I'm looking for pigmentation, I prefer to use this concealer because this gives me full coverage and we Indian girls have so much hyperpigmentation around our eyes. If you don't want to color correct and you don't want to go in with an orange corrector, I would just say slap your concealer on, give it a minute to dry and then after that start blending. So with my finger, I'm just going to start blending and patting that concealer out. Taking my time to make sure that it's nice and seamless. Next, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier in Translucent and I'm going to use one of the brushes that I got from Amazon. This is the brush set that you can see right here. And I'm just going to set my brow bone area. Then I'm going to take the Pack 204 blending brush and I'm going to go into Cheese Dust, which is the orange shade in the palette. And I'm just going to build up the crease. As you can see, I didn't start with a lot of eyeshadow. I took a little bit of the eyeshadow on my brush, I tapped off the excess, and then I started building the color. As you can see, I'm dipping into the palette five or six times, and I'm slowly, slowly building up my crease. If you take a lot of eyeshadow at once and put it on your crease area, you're not going to get that beautiful transition-y blend. And what you want to understand about this palette is that it is so pigmented. So you'd rather work with just a little bit and then add more pigment based on the color intensity that I'm looking for. I'm using the orange shade here as a transition. So I don't want it to be stark and I don't want it to be bright and bold. I would rather have like a little wash of color that is nice and blown out. Next, I'm gonna take the pack 228 brush and this is a smaller brush than the 204 that we used for the first color. And this is really good to concentrate color in the crease because it has that tapered shape. So it really focuses color in one area. It doesn't disperse it and blow it out. And the color that I'm taking with this brush is called pigment. Get it? <laughs> it's a pink color. It's so Shein. I mean, if this palette had to have one color that was dedicated to Shein, this would be it. But don't let the color fool you. I thought that it was a light pink, but my goodness, this color builds up like crazy. When applied to skin, it is so much darker than it appears in the pan. So with a light touch, you can use it like this soft, light pink but if you want you can also build it up and make it look so much more intense so what i'm doing next is i'll go back with 204 that i used first and i'll take the orange shade and i'm going to go over it and re-intensify after which i'll take the 228 once again and i'll re-intensify the pink color so essentially what i'm doing is i'm just re-intensifying both the colors that i used I'm also starting to pay a little attention to the outer V and you'll see that I'm stamping eyeshadow in the outer V and then I'm blending it out. So stamp, blend, stamp, blend, stamp, blend. Once I'm done with that, I'm taking the 204 and then marrying and blending all the colors together and trying to get that beautiful seamless blend. 
Next, I'll take a flat brush and I'll go into the color named Trisha. This is a pink shimmery shade, which is why I'm choosing to use a flat brush. When you're using a shimmer, then your best bet is to either use your fingers or to use a brush. But since my base was already done, I preferred to use a brush and not my fingers because that would be too messy. What I'll say about the JSC formulas is that you don't really need to use them wet, but I still did as you'll see. Next, I'm going back in with a shade called Pigment and I'm using my 228 and I'm just blending between the orange and the shimmer color. After that, I'm using the 204 and I'm blending out the crease so that it's nice and blown out. And then I'm using the first brush that I used the translucent color with. And with no additional product on the brush, I'm just blending it out. Next, I'm going in with a detailed liner brush and I'm taking the shade Diet Cola, which is a silver shimmery color. And I'm placing that on the inner part of my eyelid. You'll see instantly that just opens up my eyes. Next, I'll just take the Makeup Revolution Priming Water and I'm going to spritz my brush with this. And this will make the shimmer shade look a little more intense. Although this is really not necessary, I just wanted it to look nice and wet. Next, I'm just going to go in with eyeliner. And you guys know that the Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner is a tried and true. I love the eyeliner because it gives me so much control and when it dries, it is so matte. Not to mention the price point of this product is so easy on the pocket. I'm going to use the Nika K Lash Multiply Mascara. Guys, Nika K is cruelty free. And that's really good for me because that's again another brand that I can use. I really like this mascara. The volume that it gives my lashes is intense. I'm going in with a pack 102 silk lashes. I used my fingers to mess up the lashes a little bit. I used a spoolie as well to manipulate the lashes to make them look nice and 3D. I've applied a thin layer of lash glue to the lash band. And now I'm just gonna hold the lash by the center with a pair of tweezers. When I'm applying my lashes, the first thing that I'll do is I'll just stick it on to the center of my lash line. And then after that, I'll go to the sides and I'll make sure that the lash band sticks on to either side of my eye. Then with the help of some mascara, I'm going to mesh my natural lashes with the false lashes I just applied. Then I'm just going in with some concealer under my eye. With my finger, I'm just going to spread that out. I don't use a lot. My concealer is still wet, which means that I can get maximum pigmentation. So I'm just taking the pink and the orange and I'm just putting some of the shadows on my lower lash line. After this, I'm just going to blend the concealer out and then with the Laura Mercier setting powder, I'm just going to take some of it on my hand and then set my under eye with it. I don't like baking because it just gives me unnecessary creases. And with the pack lash adhesive, I'm just going to place four rhinestones right beneath my winged liner. You are the bling beneath my wings. <laughs> so corny. Okay, so next I'm just going in with some mascara on my lower lash line. When you're doing this, don't have your face at mirror level. Always tilt your face down. That way you won't get any mascara on your under eye area. For bronzer, I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and I'm using this brush that I got from Amazon. And I'm just lightly bronzing my cheek. I'm going under my jawline. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Sugar and Spice and I'm going in with the lightest color. I wanted to be a little more daring with my blush today, so I went in with the bright pink afterwards.
Then I'm going in with the highlighter that comes in the palette. This is an icy pink color. I'm just highlighting my cheek. And the tip of my nose with my pinky. Highlighting my cupid's bow here with the same color. And placing a little highlighter on the bridge of my nose. Alright guys, this was the final look. It's so simple, it's very few colors, but so dramatic. Follow me on Instagram, I'm Curly Girl Michelle there. Like, share, subscribe. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.